Hi everyone, this is user1. If you have been watching my videos, you're unaware of, unaware of what's going on and how to be a part of it, this is the video for you. Today I'm making a video I was planning to make for a while. And this is because a lot of people are having difficulties joining the games that I play, and they ask me for help. Uh, here's the issue, it's against the server rules for me to assist you in your personal application to the server. It must be unique in your own words. However, I can help you by teaching you the rules of the server that you may need to describe in the application form. I'll try to make this tutorial as simple as possible. I'll go down the current list of LSRP rules, however you should check the link in the description to make sure you're up to date in case the rules have changed since the time of making of this video. We're starting from the rule number one, common courtesy. So what is common courtesy? Well, there's a simple quote to associate the rule with in the rule itself. You shall never bother others. You shall be both fair and kind, and whatever else you do, I shall not mind. It even rhymes. What does this mean in general? Well, basically, don't be an asshole to people. This means that you treat your out-of-character players who are sitting behind the screens and controlling their characters with respect they deserve. You can't go around privately messaging insults to everyone and expect not to get in trouble for that. Sometime ago there was a rule that specifically said roleplay at all times. That rule was merged with one, uh, with this one and now if you come across someone who's refusing to roleplay, you must report them for violating common courtesy. Which sort of makes sense but I kinda wish they kept the roleplay at all times as a separate rule. Uh, let's look at some examples of people being banned for violating this rule. Here's an example of someone being uh, completely self-centered and not putting everyone else into consideration when playing the game. One thing you need to understand about a roleplay server is that you lose assets all the time and that's normal. The server isn't about who has the most assets, it's about developing a character story. Most of the people banned for violating this rule have specifically failed to roleplay at all times. Now it sounds simple enough for you, but what do you do if you feel like someone else is breaking a server rule? Well I'll show you two ways you can go about doing that, and you decide which one is the most rational one. Example number one. You walk into your friend alone, then suddenly a bunch of gangsters point their guns at you. You're under level 5, so you're like, they can't mug me, that's against the server rules, so you ignore them. They shoot you for ignoring them, and you proceed to spam their PM with personal insults. You get admin jailed for harassing players. Then you PM the admin that jailed you to argue that he should be jailing them instead for deathmatch and how awful of an admin he is. He bans you for insulting an admin. Example number 2. You same lonely street, same road to your friend, same gangsters. You are aware that you are level 2, but you still roleplay fear because this is a roleplay cell. They begin searching you and they find a gun on you. They roleplay taking it out. You kindly let them know that you are under the level of a robbery limit, but they insist that the robbery limit is level 3 instead of level 5. You decide that instead of arguing to take screenshots with the command server time visible that records current server side date and time as evidence of the incident. You also use in-game report command to notify any currently online administrator of the dispute. However, you do hand over the weapon, as you must continue roleplaying under any circumstances unless as an administrator turns the situation out of character. By saying, as you have evidence of the incident, you file a forum report. In a forum report, the other party responds and apologizes, saying that they haven't played for a while and that when they used to play, the robbery limit was level 3. They offer to return the weapon to you, which you agree to. They refund you the weapon, no one gets punished, everyone is friends on an out of character level. Unrealistic scenario, right? There's no way that could ever happen. Well, here's an example. Do you remember this clip? The whole video was hated so much because everyone was so convinced that I metagamed. But the truth is, I did metagame, but not intentionally. You see, LSRP is a very competitive game, and with weapons being such valuable assets, I kind of forgot the whole premise of a roleplay server at that very moment and focused on assets. It was my mistake. I should not have done that. However, I have redeemed myself by admitting guilt and offering to pay for the weapon that the other player lost. We made up. 
and when administrator looked at the report, despite the fact that I'm clearly admitting guilt, he didn't punish me because I already made up for my failure by refunding the other party what they had lost. That's literally nothing bad about admitting that you've done something wrong. We're all human, we all make mistakes and the majority of administrators know this and appreciate when you show humanity and understanding towards other people and try to understand the point of view. Um, I never purposely go out of my way to try to break a rule. I do so sometimes in the heat of the moment and I often make mistakes because of it and get myself in trouble sometimes. The important thing to remember is that we're all people. LSAP is very strict but a forgiving community. They even allow people who have previously cheated and ban evaded to join back if they prove they have changed for the better. Here's a great example. This person, after lying several times and cheating and ban evading, finally came clean and now he, has give, he was given an opportunity to return to the server in 6 months time. What is common courtesy? It separates humans from animals. It's our ability to recognize and respect one another as real individuals. It's what holds the community together and it truly does deserve its number one position on the list of the rules. As it not only applies for this game, but it could but I could argue that this could apply for any community, gaming related or not. I hope this small tutorial help, helped you understand the concept of common courtesy. Let me know if you would like to see me explain more of philosophy rules or perhaps rules of other communities even. Treat others like you would like to be treated yourself and stay awesome.